Did you know you can upgrade your armor in Black Myth Wukong? <laughs> this can give you some edge. No? Well, don't feel bad. Neither did I. I actually played through the entire game, defeated every boss, and it wasn't until I hit New Game Plus that I discovered there's a blacksmith in the game. And this guy is chilling in a secret hub with a bunch of other friendly characters, all ready to help you out get stronger. It's like you started a marathon, and after you finished it, you found out you could have been driving a car the whole time. So, where is this magical hub, you ask? Well, it's in a scroll that you unlock by beating and then helping a character in Chapter 3. So yes, you need to at least progress until midway into Chapter 3 to unlock the blacksmith. But before we even get to Chapter 3, we need to unlock a character in Chapter 2 that will help with this quest. This character's name is the Shoe Dog, and he is a merchant that will teach you the art of crafting consumable medicine, and eventually allow you to invest in passive and permanent buffs. To find this friendly dog, start from the Sangate village entrance shrine and take a left. Jump down this bridge. Walk inside the cave. And continue down this cave until you get to this boulder. This is where you will find the Jew Dog. If he doesn't appear for you, then you need to first defeat the frog in the lake that is right next to this location. Even if he appears before the frog, you still need to defeat the frog and then come back to him and exhaust all of his dialogue. The next location you have to go is the Crouching Tiger Temple at the Temple Entrance Shrine. Here you will need to get up the stairs and defeat the Tiger Vanguard. He will reward you with a spell and the key to opening the cellar. Go up the stairs and interact with the statue. This will unlock the cellar. Start making your way through the cellar. Here you will also find a permanent health boost. You will encounter some enemies down here and you can either run past them or fight them. Eventually you will get to the bottom where there will be a sand slope. Here when you slide down, as a tip if you jump and then press the heavy attack, you can get to this box where you will also find a relic. Jump down and continue to slide until you find the cellar shrine. On the right of the shrine you will find the Sioux Dog. If you manage to get all the way here, he will give you the option to craft permanent bonuses. Now let's jump all the way to Chapter 3 at the north shore of the Bitter Lake Shrine. From the shrine start moving left alongside the lake until you will find an NPC in the middle of the water. This NPC named Chen Long will attack you immediately. Defeat him and then talk to him. Exhaust all the dialogue. He is basically looking for some medicine. Now since we already have unlocked the Zhu Dog, we will travel back to the cellar in Chapter 2 and just choose the option to talk to him. After he gives you the medicine, return back to Chen Long, and upon giving him the medicine he will give you the Rui Scroll. You will be immediately teleported inside the scroll. This new area is basically a hub with all the NPCs that can help you upgrade yourself. You will find a shrine here as well that you can travel at, anytime you want. Here you will also find the blacksmith that can upgrade your armor if you have the right materials. This can give you some edge. You can also challenge the blacksmith and if you defeat him, you will get his spirit transformation. The Chenlong NPC is also here and if you give him seeds of plants that you encounter on your travels, he can grow them. This is basically a fast way to farm materials for potions. And that is it, the blacksmith's secret location. If you are struggling to even get to chapter 3, I have a video guide to help you get the best start in the game and the best build, or at least the best build for early to mid game. This build will have a secret armor that you can get as early as chapter 1. I will leave a link in the description to that video. If you liked this video consider subscribing, and if you have any questions leave them in the comments.